Hello, I'm Anthony Perry, Product Specialist here at Flux Pumps USA. Today we're going to be introducing you to the new Visco Power Positive Displacement Pump Technology for high viscosity applications. Uh, we're going to go through some basic maintenance procedures, um, disassembly and reassembly um, to go over uh, best practices. So today we're going to be working with the F570 with a closed mechanical seal for sanitary applications. So you'll start here with the stator housing. This is reverse thread. Along with that will come the PTFE stator and the housing. Then we'll move up to the top of the tube and remove the larger of the two tri-clamps. Once that's removed, we'll be able to slide the pump tube off. Pump tube has a full two inch port um, tri-clamp and then we will remove the shaft by aligning the sight windows in the motor connection piece and the gearbox shaft. And then inserting our staking tool to keep that from rotating. Use a 24 millimeter wrench to break the shaft loose. And then you can stand that up on end and continue to thread the shaft all the way out. Come down to the bottom, we'll remove the rotor. You'll use two 18 millimeter wrenches. And then thread that off. Here's the rotor o-ring that's held on this shoulder just by a compression fit. And now we will remove the rotating face of the mechanical seal. That's done by just gently pressing upwards as this is also just a compression fit on this shoulder with this o-ring here. And when removing that, just be sure that you keep track of the wave spring as um, it is required and uh, it can go missing as it is just a loose fit inside here. Also note the uh, alignment pin that will fit into this shoulder here on the top side of the shaft. We'll now remove the motor connection piece You can set your staking tool aside. Remove this last tri-clamp and the motor connection piece will simply slide right off. Here you can see the stationary face of the mechanical seal. And that will be removed by flipping the motor connection piece, inserting your thumb and pressing down. Just presses right out. And note that that is sitting in here on this shoulder and then when reassembling you will just press it down and uh, be sure that if it sits flush. And here we have our gearbox with the sight pin in the shaft. And then uh, with all new parts, we would begin the reassembly. We'll start by taking your Teflon stator and your stator housing. You'll see similar to the seal, this has a notch and the stator housing has an alignment pin here at the bottom. Just need to make sure that those two made up so that it's sitting in the housing properly. And then you can take your pump tube. Again, reverse thread. And thread that on. Holding it vertically will keep the stator in place and you can thread that all the way up until it's flush. If it stops anywhere other than right on the pump tube, you know that you have an alignment issue 
and just check that the pin is still in the correct position. Now we can put our rotor back onto the bottom side of the shaft, which is the smaller of the two. And that'll just simply thread right back on. And then snug that up with your 18 millimeter wrenches. Now we will install the rotating face onto the top side of the shaft. Again, noting that the wave spring must be installed and not interfering with the alignment pin. It's got to be tucked under like so. And then you can take the rotating face. You can see the pin here and the shoulder or the uh, notch aligns with this flat spot. That'll press right on and hold itself in place with that O-ring. Set that aside until we have the stationary face installed, which again, we're gonna press it down onto the shoulder. Stationary seal face. Just be sure that when you're installing this that your hands are clean and free of any particulates that could uh, cause damage to the seal face. Press it straight down until it's firmly uh, sitting on that shoulder. And now we can install the motor connection piece with our stationary face onto the gearbox. Aligning our sight pins. We will use the smaller of the two clamps to hold that in place. And then insert our staking tool. We can grab the shaft assembly and thread that right on. Using our 24 millimeter wrench again, we'll just tighten that up. At this point, you can remove the staking tool and insert the rotor and shaft into the pump tube. These will press fit together and install the larger of the two tri-clamps. When you're putting these tri-clamps on, just note to face them away from the discharge port as they could interfere with any of your host connections that you might be putting on. And there we have a complete disassembly and reassembly for uh, rebuilding or cleaning of an F570 with a closed mechanical seal for sanitary applications. Thank you.